All right, so I'm working on my Bobcat 863 skid steer. I have removed the cylinder on the tilt um, because it was leaking. So I've got it over here. Now, I could not get this off. What I did is I've got this gland wrench on the end here. So here's the cylinder. You can, Well, I can't really lift it up to see where it was leaking, unfortunately. But you can see maybe here that the seal is blown out because the internal seals were bad. So I've got the gland wrench clamped onto the cylinder so it can't pop off and strip the holes that are drilled in here. I drilled an additional hole right here because I torqued with two breaker bars, one in here, one in here, as hard as I could, and this gland nut did not budge. I watched online people use an air hammer. So I've got an air hammer here. I kind of cut the end off, um, made it look like what I saw on the internet, and I've got that in this hole here. So while I'm, while I'm hammering there, I'm torquing on the bar, and I actually just got some movement. So I don't know if it's possible to set this camera up. I don't have a tripod, but let's see here if I can set it up. It's gonna fall over, I bet. But what I've done is I put this on here. I've got this on here. Like that, and I'm pushing on it. And see what happens here. It's a bit tight here. All right, so. Back on there, that, so I'm gonna, oh, too much to do. So that there, that there. You can see it actually moved there. And that's the only way, now I've got movement. That's the only way I could get it to go. Air hammer and the breaker bar. So if you couldn't get yours off, that's what I tried. I tried heating it yesterday, no luck. Um, heated it and yeah, I'm replacing all the seals. I wasn't too worried about ruining them, but this is what I did. So I've had not, I have the breaker bar in there. I have these two clamps on here. I've got a bar there holding it. And this is the gland wrench. And there's the what I'm removing. So at this point it's actually moving. But until I until I drilled this third hole here and I tried first just using the air hammer in there didn't budge but then between the torque wrench or the breaker bar and the air hammer I managed to break it loose that's pretty sweet I'm happy with that